You training for a bike race hard enough, throw in Rochester's weather patterns, and it's a juggling act. You don't know what you can do and when you can do it. So Hannah Welker is live at a place where cyclists can ride indoors and outdoors at the same time. I know, it sounds so confusing. What am I talking about? Hannah Welker. <laughs> Okay, I'd just like to say, look how hard I'm working, guys. 120%. Wherever Doug Emblage is, look at my percentage. <laughs> it may be dropping, because I think we're hitting a hill. <laughs> uh, but yeah, guys, I'm at Cycle Works in, on University Avenue. And but right now, this, this has us on the track of the Tour de Cure, which is in a couple months. And Jason, that's exactly what we're doing right now. Yeah, we're riding a virtual course that was uh, taped yesterday and ridden, and we uploaded the uh, GPS course. So you're basically riding exactly the course, the 25-mile course that you'll be riding in a couple weeks. Now, when I first came in here and immediately looked at all these fancy bikes, all the cool gears, all your, you know, your impressive workout drinks, I thought, this is only for professionals or people who competitively bike, but that's not what this is. This is really for anybody. Yeah, th I mean, that's the easy part, getting people in here that already have the bikes, but this is for everybody. Uh, it's a great um, low pressure activity. It gets the cardio up. Um, it's a good workout and anybody can do it, quite honestly. Yeah, seriously. Now, I gotta ask Steve. Steve, I've gotta think about the people who, I've gotta think about the people who spin spinning indoors and they're looking at this going I spin why would I need something like this why do you encourage this type of training versus not not knocking spinning but why is this different sure the biggest difference is you're actually riding your own bicycle with a spin class you're usually on a stationary bike that has a heavy flywheel with this one you're riding your own bike so you're using your own uh, fit for your bike and everything is around your own your own body as opposed to riding a indoor bike, which probably is not fit correctly. Now, I, I, I hear moaning over here. <laughs> I'm wondering, are, are we hitting a hill? Talk about, talk about this training and really how it feels on your body. Um, it simulates the real deal experience as much as possible. So it really gets you prepared for the season when you hit the road outside. And now do you ride outside? Yes. And is it very similar? Yeah, because you're in your bike, it, it simulates the um, conditions, the resistance of the hills. So yes, it pretty much does. The rain is the only difference. Yeah, and the wind, yeah. <laughs> the rain and the wind. Uh, but uh, Steve, i got to ask, if people are interested in doing something like this, where, where do they start? You can check out the website, cycleworksrock.com. Uh, information there on our training schedule and our pricing policies. Um, or if you just stop by 1344 University Avenue, and we're inside uh, Paradigm CrossFit Performance. And even if people aren't bikers or, or but are interested in trying it out, you know, what advice do you give them? Bring your bike in and give it a try. And anybody can do this. It's not just for the serious cyclists. It's for anybody. Courses are easy. We can make them hard. Uh, but it's for anybody to do and just come on in. I'll make sure to go get my unicycle and bring it in. Does that work? That would work <laughs> if you had it on the front only. <laughs> You can even unicycle here. All right. I'm going to toss it back to you guys in the studio. This is a really cool concept. Also exciting because the Tour de Cure is just around the corner. There are many ways to train. No excuses, people. No excuses. Very Thanks, nice. Hannah. We